Martin Odegaard, firstly, how great was he yesterday? He, he had a slow start to the season, didn't he? Mm. Because from the end of last season, we, you were, of course, going, oh, Martin Odegaard's great. Da, 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 da. And then, of course, he, at the beginning of the season, I was teasing you, saying, what's happened to Martin Odegaard? Mm-hmm. But he's come good. He looked great last night. It's just, they said yesterday, they described it on the telly, even though I was listening to your commentary. That's they, a lie. They said that's he, that's his passing is like velvet. And I, think I that, get that. that. It describes it perfectly. Yeah, just like nice little subtle passes. It's always the nice weight of passes. The, the weight is absolutely always bang, bang on. on. Like yeah. when, with that goal last night, Trossard coming onto it and just bending it in that far corner. Mm. Do you know that there are times where Odegaard, he, he probably tries to play a bit too much because there was even a couple of occasions last night where he gets the ball in the edge of the box. I'm just thinking, there's no pass on to pull the trigger. With that left foot, just pull the trigger. And he still tries to look, look is that scoopy not, pass. Is that, is that not the manager? No, it was him. Because that Scooby pass, he did that a couple of times in the second half, yeah. trying to get Saka through. Just hit, just hit. It. I know, but when, but when you play that pass, defenders must hate it. Yeah, they do hate it, but at some point they know it's coming. If you keep doing it, they know it's coming. Mm. So just, just on the, on this, I'm not telling him how to play, but with that left foot, I've seen him crash goals in from up, one that springs to mind is Newcastle about I think, just, bottom corner smash. Yeah, just let one rip. Yeah, why Why not then? Because it's not lack of confidence. He's a very confident player. He's a very selfless player. Always looking for others. Could bring is, others he, um, is, he, is he too good for Arsenal? Should he what, be in a Man City side? What kind of nonsense question is this? Honestly. He should be winning stuff, what's, right? What's your, what's your problem? Should he be winning stuff? No, what, How old is he? Can we, can, 20, can we just appreciate what he's doing? I wrote his name down. What is he, 23, 22? Who's that regard? 25, right? A bit like Harry Kane when we were like, should Harry Kane move to a side and win leagues and Champions Leagues? I just wonder if Mike might know Listen, he came from Real Madrid. Right? Really so he's, he's used to being at a big club. Now he's gone to an Arsenal. Should he move back to a big club? What's your problem? <laughs> but does he need to be winning trophies, Ben? Is he, he is he at he, the age now? Or do you go, do you know, he's only 25. Because it's quite relatively old for a player, right? Yeah, but listen, he will, at Arsenal, win trophies. Do you know what I mean? He will win trophies. But to say that he's obviously... Um, should he move to City? I'm, I'm sure, just saying that to one year. I'm, sure I'm sure a lot of clubs have got their eye on him, but he is... He no, he's a fantastic player. But what, but what I mean by that is, Kevin De Bruyne is not getting any younger. Mm-hmm. Could he be a replacement for Kevin De Bruyne? He could be, but I don't think he will be anytime soon. I think he's happy at Arsenal. I know it's different if a, a side like City come in and, and wanted to, to mm-hmm. take you. To turn that down is difficult. But it's one of them where, listen, he, last season he was fantastic. The very first time he got to Arsenal and then they, they announced that they re-signed him, I was a little bit like, hmm, so really? Was I. I was like, hmm, really? But then... Obviously, last season he took off. He was fantastic. And then mm. this season, got off to a bit of a slow start. But he's, he looks like he's back to his best again. Great pass for the goal last night. Do, do you think his role has changed because he knows he's got someone like Declan Rice alongside him or just a little bit behind him? No, because last season he had Thomas Partey. He was brilliant. True. So I don't think it's changed. But I just think sometimes players go through, have dips. He started off the season maybe, I won't say he was poor, but he just wasn't, he'd set his, his standard so high to maintain it at times. Is, is, a little Cristiano Ronaldo or Messi, yeah. he kept it for like a decade. It, it's hard, do you know mm. what I mean? So, but he's playing really well at the minute. Where, back, where do you... Best. I've got a list in front of me of the, the big hitters and their midfield threes or sometimes fours. Uh, where do you rate Arsenal's amongst the other top, top sides? I'm looking now. So Arsenal, Rice, Havertz and Odegaard. See, I'm, not put, I'm not really putting Havertz in there. You can well, put him well, in Well, he's played there the majority of the season. But, but Jorginho's coming and been very good. Um, if, you, if, you, if you had a Champions League final tomorrow, yeah. I know it's a little bit far-fetched, but let's just say you did. Mm. Who's your three in midfield? It's probably Rice, Havertz and Odegaard. No, because Havertz would be the false nine. So if we had a Champions League game tomorrow, it'd be Jorginho, Rice and Odegaard. And that's better because you get... With that okay. with that lineup in midfield, you have more control of the game. Okay, where do you rank that then? Rice, um, Jorginho and Odegaard? It's up there. I'd say it's definitely up there. I'm, listen, the best for me is obvious. Man City. <laughs> Rodri, Rodri, Bernardo Silva. And De Bruyne. Or Foden. Yeah, that is frightening. <laughs> you can even throw Kovacic in a mix. In a mix. Okay. Uh, let's talk about a few <clears> others. <throat> See, you look at Man United, right? It sh- on paper, it should be really good. You know what? Let's not. Casemiro, mm-hmm. Manu, yeah. Fernandez. Okay, what? Fernandez. <laughs> you, you know what? No, no, no. You're Fern- as, no, you're no, as no, any no, United no, as no, I am. No, no, no. Fernandez never shows up in a big game. Sorry, I, I have to take issue with it. Bruno Fernandez is an unbelievable player. Uh, Did Saka turn up last night? Yeah, listen to me. But did, why was the Saka playing? You're one of your biggest allies at this station, and Neil, Man United fan. Why do you think he's not looking in there? Because he agrees with me about Fernandez. No, no shows probably because there's like pick a mix no, over no. there. Hey, look, see, it's not a sucker. It, big games, of course he does. What one? Do was to, was do last night's big? Yeah, do you want me to read him off though? Was last night's big? No, do you want me to read him off? Was last night's big? Yeah, okay, it's one game. Give me, give me one that Fernando has. Fernandez. I'll wait. We're not talking about Seven, Man United today. Liverpool, nothing. <laughs> I hate that <laughs> so much. <laughs> Casemiro, listen, I mean, 
His if it, if it was lifetime achievement award, yes. Right, let's move on because I'm going to get annoyed. Ma- Mainu, he will be. Tough player. Yeah. Okay. He'll, he'll probably uh, go Liverpool. So Bosley, McAllister, and Endo. Now on pay financially. When what happens? City come and take Mainu. We can do that. <laughs> he won't go there. Why, uh, bro, why not? For, okay, well, Martin Odegaard's going to go first. <laughs> Mainu. Right, if you're lifting in the big heads at Man City, <laughs> go and get Odegaard, right? Go and get him. I do like uh, Liverpool, so Bosley. He started off the season on fire, didn't he? Yeah. The injuries have kind of derailed him. Um, McAllister playing well. Endo, good performance at the weekend. Mm-hmm. Um, you know what's mad? I feel like I'm missing someone in there. You know what's mad? Is I'm looking at Chelsea's, they should be top of that list. They could be, the, they could be at the bottom. Yeah. Caicedo, Enzo Fernandez. So how much? Caicedo was 100 million? Both of them 100 million. Well, Enzo was 115. Yeah. And Kai said it was 100. And Palm, what did they pay for Palm? 50? See, that's a bargain, that. Because he's been better than that. That's a quarter of a billion pounds. <sighs> like Cole Palmer, he's probably out of that three, he's one that can go, do you know what? I've done everything I can. Isn't that mad? Cole Palmer, half the price of the other two, and he's mm. probably twice as good. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app, and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.